How you doing? You are into rocket stoves, I am into rocket stoves. And you're wondering like I am, is it better to make one out of brick or is that out of concrete block? Today, I'm gonna find out. Ready? I'm all about use what you got. And I had some concrete block laying around and I always have brick laying around because I build pizza ovens. The link to that will be at the end of the show. Barrel pizza oven, really cool. But today I'm just gonna crank out a brick oven and a block oven and we're gonna test them and see which one does better, that kind of thing. There's a couple different ways to do this. This is my way. You always want to overlap the joint with a solid piece here. See I'm overlapping the joints? Oh, that's kind of, sometimes the bricks are a little bigger. So just switch them out for some others in your brick collection. So again, overlapping, there's a joint. This crosses the two bricks. That one's too big. That works. For the cement block version, we need to cut a opening in one of these blocks, okay? Some safety gear. This is a great chisel if you're doing any, any DIY projects. I'll link to it below. And a hand sledge, okay? Safety first. You can just try hitting this to see what happens. And that's what happens. Okay, that's gonna be the base of the unit. Okay, because I cracked this, I've only got two left. So I went and bought some more cement block and it's about to rain. So we're gonna persevere and do our test. I just moved everything a little close to the garage. Um, it won't catch on fire. We gotta cut this slot out of this brick here. So I learned something. Okay, you can mess around with trying to knock this out and um, you know break your block and all that. Or your neighbor might have what's called a diamond cutting blade. It sounds expensive, it's not. Um, they go on your right angle grinder like this. Score, score, and maybe it'll work. Wear goggle, dust mask, ear protection, cement dust, you don't want that in your lungs. All right, finally. Base block here. The one with our lovely hole. So this is where our fire will go. This is where our fire will come out. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. There is this ongoing misconception, I'll call it, on the internet about using brick or cement block in a rocket stove or a pizza oven or anything with fire, right? And I've built enough wood-fired stoves out of brick and cement block to report back to you that brick and cement block do not explode in fire. They crack. And I'm all, I mean, it's a use what you got kind of thing. I got these bricks out of a dumpster. They were going into a landfill. They make a nice temporary oven. It works. It doesn't explode, my experience. They crack from the heat cooling, heat cooling. And I have two fireman friends that back that up. So go with what you want to believe, but I have never had a problem with brick or concrete block exploding. Thank you. 
So what do I think? Cinder block or, or <clears throat> cement block or clay brick? Um, this one has some design flaws. It's full and it's smoking. So the flame has gone out several times. My eyes are burning here. And it, I have some ideas for improvements for this, but you gotta get the exact right kind of cement blocks or you gotta cut a hole in it and you have to have a right kind of blade for that. The brick one, um, I had to relight it. I have a idea for an improvement of the design of this one. This is the generic design that I built. This is so much easier to build. You just go get some brick. This, you have to find cement block. It all has to match. You have to get an H block if you don't want to do the cut. So right now I'm voting for Mr. Brick or Ms. Brick, whatever you want to call it. But there are going to be some more rocket stove videos right there for you. Um, meet me over there. We'll find out what happens next. I'll see you in the next video.